Good day to you. Thank you for spending this time with me. I want to talk about being blameless, blameless before the Lord. If we look at Luke chapter 1, verses 5 and 6, there was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. And that means they were without fault. These were the parents of John the Baptist. They were righteous before God, blameless following the Lord again. They were considered without fault before the Lord. Now, did that mean, or does that mean, that they are perfect, or that they were perfect? Let's look at these verses a little further down, still in Luke 1, verses 18 through 20. And Zacharias said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is well advanced in years. And the angel answered and said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God, and was sent to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and not able to speak until the day these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their own time. No, Zacharias was not perfect. He, the actual priest, doubted. By his own admission, he was an old man, and his wife was old as well, and he had normal doubts. God didn't condemn him for his doubts, but he did silence him for a time. Now, we can be like Zacharias at times. We're following the Lord, we're obeying and doing what we should. Then a situation is presented to us, and we question or we doubt the Lord or maybe his word, or, you know, whatever. We, we have a failing for a moment, right? Maybe this is some very difficult time we're going through. We don't understand why we're not getting the answer we want from God. In those times, we need to silence our doubts, like God silenced Zacharias. Pray to the Lord and trust in him. He will deliver us and bring about His will in our lives as He has promised. We may not always understand, but we can always trust the Lord. The Lord alone makes us righteous and blameless by having our faith and trust in Jesus. So I want to thank you for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day. May God bless you and keep you safe. And remember, God loves you.